Hello no one, and welcome back to reading SCP Files. This one... I want to say it's going to be more interesting, I really fucking do. But I'm at the top of the fucking file, and I see at least four fucking data expunges. So... This is probably going to be the five, actually, I just noticed one. Five! five. <laughs> oh, this is probably going to be the most annoying fucking file. Anyways, yes, welcome back to reading SCP Files, because I am a boring human being. So I kind of got to counteract that with the SCP files. It's, 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 it's a balance I got to make. I think this one's going to be interesting from what I remember. Because a few videos ago, I did mention that there was like a proposal that involved the fucking multiverse. And originally I said that it was a database, but I also corrected myself while editing and said that I think it might be the legacy. I'm not sure why, I just sort of gravitated toward this one more than the database. Like, I don't know what the fuck the database is either which we'll find that out later. I'm not entirely sure if it's correct or not, but it doesn't really matter, as we can just fucking figure it out now. With Dr. McKenzie's proposal, that being the legacy, if it wasn't obvious, I've said it like 50 times at the beginning of this video already, so. Item number is SCP-001, insert overused joke here. Object class is Euclid. Special containment procedures. All elements of SCP-001 are to be contained in separate environment controlled lockers at Site-0. The location of Site-0 is classified level 5 and is only known to members of O5 Command. Access to SCP-001, its transcripts and data, is restricted to O5 level personnel except during Protocol Zero. Protocol Zero may only be enacted by a direct, unanimous act by the entirety of O5 Command, and Protocol Zero procedures are to be dis disseminated only to those specifically permitted by O5 Command. So essentially, it's like a button that you press that goes, oh shit, why does it go, oh shit? Description! SCP-001 is a set of two objects and 33 documents belonging to Data Expunged. I'm just gonna keep a counter of how many of those there are, because there's, there's probably gonna be a fuck ton. Uh, da, 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 da. Ilias, the Administrator. SCP-001-01 and SCP-001-02 are respectively Data Expunged. SCP-001-03 through 35 are a mixed set of handwritten and printed documents. They are normal in all respects except that they do not show signs of aging or fading in any way, and dating of the paper on which they are comprised of have shown inconsistent results. The contents of these documents, as detailed below, consist of Do you see what I fucking mean? Data expunged, as these objects form the impetus for the creation of the SCP Foundation, as most 001 proposals tend to do, I think. And all of its con- Constituent. Okay. And all of its constituent activities and processes. As such, this information is only to be disseminated at by direct order of O5 Command as per Protocol Zero. Okay then. A classified level 5 by order of O5 command. Eyes only. Unauthorized access of these documents is punishable by immediate termination. So, I think they know what the word fire means, but I don't think that they know what it means when there's not a boomstick in hand. So... <laughs> Addendum 001-01. Analysis? What the fu- Analysis of SCP-001-01 and 02. SCP-001-01 is a smooth device composed of an unidentified gray metallic substance, approximately 22 centimeters wide, 30 centimeters tall, and 1.5 centimeters thick. It is unusually he heavy, not healthy, oh god if it was healthy, uh, weighing approximately 8.2 kilograms. It is equipped with a small digital display and has a single opening that appears to be a type of keyed activation switch. Attempts to disassemble the device or analyze its technology have been unsuccessful so far, as there appear to be no seams or fasteners visible on the device. Attempts to image the interior of SCP-001-01 utilizing X-ray or magnetic res resonance have resulted in inconsistent results, suggesting that the device is either too dense to properly image or has inconsistent internal topography. Ever changing, okay. 01 appears to only be capable of displaying two indicators. One appears to be the status or progress bar with an accompanying number, currently at approximately 23%. Is it going up or down? Hmm. Uh, the other indicator is a single digital counter displaying the number redacted. 
Zero Two is a small key composed of the same unidentified metallic substance as the main casing of Zero One. It is currently assumed that this is the activation key for Zero One. Addendum 001-02, transcript of the 001 documents. 03 is a personal diary belonging to the administrator. That's a weird thing to have as an SCP, but it's okay, I think, I don't know. SCP-001-04-35 were inserted between various pages of 03 at time of discovery. Excerpt from 03, page 1. I always hated the idea of writing in a diary. Documentation is one thing, but I guess I never saw the point in putting down my personal thoughts. The scientist in me is telling me that someday, someone may want to know how this all started. Page 3. They say that the first time is always the hardest. I have managed to secure funding and personnel from the federal government. And I have established an organization that will allow me to continue the research. President Redacted. It says that I turn the device over for safekeeping, but I have made it clear that I can't let it out of my possessions. I believe that this is what I was talking about before, because it seems to be going that way. Uh, page 7. Progress, unfortunately, has been slow these past decades. I am adamant that we cannot reproduce the technology until we have found a solution, as I am sure that unless we kill both birds with one stone, we will simply hasten the process. Page 9. I had to kill them. Oh shit. Uh, they had been reproducing the technology all along, and hiding it from me. I will be moving on in the next 24 hours. This place is doomed at this point. Mm. Page 15. Again. I will not make the same mistake again. The mere thought of lying to the very people I need to reach my goal is bitter. But I can no longer afford to let them know the truth. Alright then. Uh, SCP-001-05 is a page printed from what appears to be an inkjet printer, found inserted between pages 15 and 16 of SCP-001-03. This page has been preserved in the same unidentified method as the rest of the documents. A memo from the Office of the Administrator. Humanity has existed in its current state for hundreds of millennia, yet only the last few have held any meaning for us. What did we do for the countless years before of recorded history? We huddled in caves, warding off the night with small fires, fearful of the things that we could not yet understand. It was not just that we did not understand why the sun rose every morning, it was a mystery of enormous fish with the heads of men, and rocks that came to life, the monsters that drove those who saw them mad. So we called them angels and devils, begged them to spare us from their wrath, and prayed for salvation. As time passed, their numbers died out and mankind flourished. The world began to make more sense. Yet, the unexplained can never truly go away. As if the universe requires for there to be things we can never truly understand. We will not go back into the dark, fearful night. We will not be ruled by the unknown. We will stand up for ourselves. Even as the rest of humanity remains uninformed, we will fight the darkness, containing it and shielding it from the eyes of the common man, so that they can continue to live in the blissful illusion of a normal world. Hmm. SCP-001-03, page 22. Their faces haunt me in my dreams. Hundreds, thousands of them. Ones who blindly went to their deaths. For me. Hmm. Page 28. Made a mistake. Told someone the truth. The night before I left. I'd use the last of my original medical supplies. In a way, I wish he'd aim for the head. Alright then. Uh, page 41. This one solved an equation that could set a framework for the rest of the solution. I killed them by my own hand. Could they have ever imagined that this was an act of mercy? Page 64. I suddenly remembered today what they told me before I left. He said that I probably wouldn't see anything, that I'd probably simply fall asleep and wake up again. They lied. I can see them as they are consumed by madness, as walls of reality crack and shatter, only to be replaced as if nothing happened. I can see everything. Now that the rain is gonna... Okay, now uh, page 68. It is finally done. The equations are complete. The math is sound. 
but it comes too late once again. This team will not have the time to construct the solution, and I will have to abandon the Foundation again. But I do so with the knowledge that no more will have to suffer the same fate. Are they bouncing from universe to universe? Because I want to say that this involves a multi uh, multiverse somehow. Like, I remember something about the multiverse in this. Okay, we'll just continue reading. Uh, SCP-001-34 is a worn handwritten page discovered between the front cover and the first page of SCP-001-03. To whom it may concern. First, I want to say that I am sorry for everything. I have most likely doomed you and everyone you have ever known to death and destruction by my mere presence in your world. If you are in possession of and reading this document, then I am probably dead. If that is the case, and I did not bother to destroy this evidence, then that means I have also probably failed in my mission. This means that my responsibilities have now passed on to you, and that your fate and the fate of your world are now in your hands. I was not born into your world. I am a travel traveler from a parallel plane of existence. Close enough. An alternate reality separate from your universe. The year from which I originate is of little consequence. If I've learned anything from my travels, the passing of time from universe to universe is meaningless. What is important is that in my plane of origin, mankind was highly advanced. We harnessed the power of entire stars, molded planets and moons alike, to suit our needs, and even learned to manipulate the fabric of reality itself. We had conquered death through advances in medicine and technology, and we thought of ourselves masters of our own fates. We realized too late that all such things have a cost, and that our greed and hubris would not only result in the loss of everything we held dear, but doomed countless others as well. Our meddling in the structure of existence had opened up cracks and twists in the fabric of reality, a corruption of the multiverse that we had failed to notice earlier because we could not see the pieces of our reality leaking into others. By the time feedback began to manifest, it was already too late to stop it. Before this corruption consumed us completely, we came up with one final failsafe. We would gather up what knowledge we could save and sacrifice our world to send a single individual through to the next. This could not repair the damage that had already been done, but could buy us time to start over, to find a way to stop the corruption of reality. That individual was me. If you have not already found them, then the evidence to support my claims will begin to bleed into your world soon enough. Like a rain of glass, the shattered remains of other universes will begin to fall and slip into yours. Things that defy your understanding, fixed loops and structures without meaning or rhyme, that cannot be destroyed by any means you possess. Things that drive men mad and challenge all the assumptions that you hold dear. That which I carry with me is a final legacy of countless worlds. The equations and technology described in its pages carry with them the hope of stopping the corruption, a hope that has come with a heavy price. They are the last will and testament of a bloody trail of universes that have sacrificed and been sacrificed, that those who remain may avoid their fate. At the time of this writing, they are nearly complete, but time is never against me. If I am no longer able to see this mission through to its better end, then it falls to you to finish what I began. Good luck. Data expunged. The Administrator. So yeah, that was correct. Uh, multiverse. <laughs> shit, I didn't remember that part. I just remembered multiverse. And shit's going wrong. So presumably, the thing that is like leaking to other universes, uh, into other universes rather, is the SCPs. Like, I'm pretty sure that's obvious, but... Then that raises a question. What about the things that are alive? Like things like a... 682, I want to say? It's a fucking thing that constantly wants to kill everything. That The lizard fuck that was mentioned in the last uh, file. Like, that that's alive. Like, it's essentially indestructible. I think it actually is fucking indestructible. So, where the hell did that come from? What two universes fuck to make that thing? 
Oh well, it's just a proposal, so it may or may not be the actual 001. Probably not, but oh well. Uh, SCP-001-35 is a single handwritten page found between the last page and back cover of SCP-001-03. The handwriting in 35 is inconsistent with that of the other handwritten documents in 001. So it's probably a different person or they were writing it hastily. Uh, data expunged. This is it. The last evidence that our civilization will have ever existed. No one is entirely sure what will happen when you activate the failsafe. Some of them are saying that the backlash from using it will instantly shatter what remains of our existence. Others are saying that using something of this power will merely accelerate the corruption by a hundredfold. Either way, it will be quick. By the time you wake up at your destination, there will be nothing left of our home. You already know that it will only carry a single passenger. And the second team should have your gear ready by the time you're ready to go. I can only hope that with the time we've bought you, you can find a way to stop this disaster. If not, the device will keep track of the relative corruption level of local reality as well as how many times it's been activated. Okay, that's what that second number is. A bit sadistic of us? Perhaps. By the time you read this, I will already be dead. I'm sorry. You've always been the stronger one. I don't have the strength to face the end with my head held high. Not without you. I love you. Addendum 001-03. SCP-001-36. References found within the documents comprising of SCP-001 suggest the evidence of SCP-001-36. An electronic device or large document containing comprehensive technological and mathematical data related to SCP-001. The current whereabouts of 36 are unknown. All right. Well, fuck. This was uh, cool to begin with. Like, hey, the worlds are fucking dying. The multiverse is collapsing in within itself. We have to send one person to go save everything that could possibly exist. And then that last note was kind of fucking sad. Uh, <laughs> I'm sad now. <laughs> Shout out to anyone who gets that reference. Now this, this is definitely a lot more interesting than the previous one. And somehow has less of a rating. Because like, yeah, the other one only had, what, a fucking, uh, like, well, it had like 672 on this page. And then this one was different. 756. That somehow has... This is a fucking crime. I can change this. I can change this. I cannot change this. Oh, fuck. Nah, if there's a lesson I've learned in my life, you don't have to knock someone down to lift another up. That's just being stupid. Because this, I don't think it needs to have another one knocked down because it's just fucking good. This is just plain good. I really like this. Like, like I thought this was going to be annoying with all the data expunged, but there wasn't that many actually. It was just that beginning bit that had me a bit concerned, but no, this is just fucking cool. I like this. I really like this. Like, granted, I think I may just be interested in it because it's like a multiverse thing, because I'm fucking... I love multiverse theories. Um, or just the multiverse in general. The idea that one small thing could change, therefore the entirety of existence is affected. Like, of course, in this situation, it's fucking terrifying, because it's the end of everything as we know it, but... Like, just, the idea of multi, uh, many, many different universes existing just lets the mind wander. It means that fucking magic could exist in one world and then not in another, which we're fucking stuck in that one. God damn it. Still, we can let our mind wander. And I feel like at some point, imagination is better than any reality could ever be. Um, because they're... There are going to be limits to reality. There's always going to be limits. There's never going to be something that could... Well, right. <laughs> this is a bad example, but... <laughs> like, nothing could break reality and time itself. Just read a fucking file where reality and time itself gets fucking broken. God damn it. But there are obviously limits to reality. But... We could just bend reality. Bend reality to our will based off of our imagination. We can have stories play out in our heads. We can have headcanons of many different stories. Our imagination can run wild with multiverse 
uh, with many different universes. And I feel like that's where a big part of, like, I don't want to say fandoms, because I feel like the word fandom has a negative sort of connotation to it, but, like, that's where a lot of, like, <sighs> fucking fandoms, yeah, sure, uh, fandoms of, like, games and shows really get their power, because they can take something that exists and go fucking crazy with it. I think that's one of the main reasons a lot of people dislike the, uh, like, I guess, prequels? I think they're called the prequels? That would make sense. Uh, the prequels in Star Wars. Uh, because of the fact that it was all just episode fucking 4, 5, and 6 up to that point. Which was a bold fucking move, but you gotta kind of fucking respect it, really. Uh, it was a bold move, but in it, they talked about, like, the Clone Wars between the Jedi and the Sith, I think so. I'm not entirely sure about the entire story of Star Wars because I don't pay attention to that much. But still, it had this entire backstory to it, which led us to where we are now. You don't need to know everything about the fucking Clone Wars in order to be able to enjoy the fucking movies. That's fucking obvious. But the prequels came along and showed that. And the problem with that is the fact that everybody had the power to think about what the fuck happened in the Clone Wars. They could look at Yoda and be like, okay, what trauma has he been through? <laughs> like, his entire race is fucking dead. He's the only one left. We still don't have a fucking confirmed name for the race. What the fuck is Yoda? <laughs> like just simple as that our mind can fucking wander it's an amazing thing to just have that power and then the fucking prequels came along and ruined that for a lot of star wars fans so like i think that's why i like it so much just because it has like the fans have a bit of power um and when something official comes along and says no this is what happens that kind of ruins a lot of things so i think that might be why this is actually so good because it doesn't say outright, like, what they did. It just says what they're trying to do. Like, obviously, they had grown so fucking powerful and so smart and strong or whatever the fuck that they started breaking reality in time. But, one, smartly, they didn't say what they did. No, but also, hmm. It's good for the mystery of what they did, but I think at the same time, it would probably be bad in terms of the story to not say what the fuck they did. So, like, you know, the past can have its mistakes repeated. Well, I guess in this case it would be the future. Nah, fuck it. But it... It feels like it would be a bad idea to not have it, like, outright said, Hey, this is what we did. Don't fucking do it. It's just gonna end up in the destruction of fucking everything. Hopefully you're smart enough to realize that and not fuck up. But, again, at the same time, you'd hope that people who are a part of the SCP Foundation are like, Hey... Um, yeah, so what we're trying to do could possibly lead to the fucking destruction of the entire multiverse, so do we really want to do this? Um, <laughs> and granted, this is a proposal, so it may not be the real SCP-001. At the same time, I'd say this, is, has, uh, this has a strong case. Or at least it's like, high on my list of what I want 001 to be. Um, because I would say that this and the Gate Guardian are probably my top two. Um... Foundation and Sheaf of Papers under that, as of right now. And there's the lock. Yeah, that's under the Sheaf of Papers in the factory uh, for now, but... Oh, I'll, I'll figure out a fucking tier list later. I gotta stop trying to create this shit in my head. But yeah, I just think that this is a really fucking interesting story. Like, the one detail that I think kind of makes it stick out a bit is this uh, displaying of the number, which is the amount of times that... Uh, uh, different universes have been accessed to try to get uh, buy more time and get this whole thing solved And it's obviously a <laughs> fucking five-digit number. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh shit. But yeah, it's obviously a five-digit number So it's been done a long fucking time. So the fact that it's only 23% Impressive But the fact that it's 23% and nobody fucking figured this out with that many attempts well, shit, I think we may just be fucked. Hey, it's me, the dumb fuck that you just saw on your screen, but this time with the power of hindsight and the inability to give a fuck about recording my face. Actually, now that I think about this, that last one probably isn't a power, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. So when I was speaking about this, I was speaking as if the 23% was re uh, representing the corruption over the entire multiverse, but I don't think that's actually true. I think it's just the single universe that they're in, so they know how much time they have left before they need to move on to the other one and it gets reset to like zero or something. 
Uh, the main reason for this is that I thought about it. I have that ability, yes. And, well, they're obviously advanced enough to travel across universes, but at the same time, I don't think they're so advanced that they're able to track the corruption uh, through the multiverse, because that is a fuck ton of different factors that could potentially mess with that. So I think they're trying to just localize it to one universe, so it's easier to uh, actually keep track of it. Plus, like I said, making sure they know how much time they have left. I think that just that combination is why it's more one universe than the multiverse that I was playing, uh, implying that it was here. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Now on to whatever the fuck else I have to say, because I haven't actually edited the rest of the video yet, so uh, we'll just have to see what other stupid shit I say. Try not to have an aneurysm. Other than that, I don't really have anything to say. This is just a really fucking interesting 001 proposal. Hell, even if this well, I guess it kind of has to. It doesn't have to be 001 if it's a multiverse thing, because I'm sure there are other fucking SCPs that are like, oh, it could potentially have like different fucking universes attached to it. No, the indomitable planet. That was just a planet, not a universe. That I was about to go fucking crazy with that one. No, uh. I don't think it has to be a 001 proposal, um, because it's a multiverse thing. I think it's just because, like, I guess this could be considered the reason for the creation of the Foundation, because it's like, hey, we're on a mission to try to stop the corruption of the entirety of the multiverse, but because of what we did, now our universe is leaking into yours, and that uh, those things are the SCPs leading to the SCP Foundation being created to contain those while trying to figure this shit out, so that makes sense. Other than that, would, hmm. I would say that it would be interesting thinking of what SCPs have, in, or rather, have been discovered in other universes, but they have been destroyed due to, you know, natural progression. But at the same time, I think that's just the SCPs that we're creating, so I guess it doesn't matter too much in that front. But, yeah, I would say that this is actually one of my favorite 001 proposals. Uh, in terms of the next one, that will be the database. And I have... I literally have no idea what that one is. I kind of remember the Foundation? 36, I don't remember that one at all. And Ouroboros... I think I got to 36, and that was the last 001 that I did. So I haven't seen Ouroboros at all. So we're getting... Closer and closer to unfamiliar territory. Oh, fuck, I'm excited for that one. God's blind spot, what the fuck? Isn't that just his asshole? I'm getting this one before I start making even dumber jokes. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, this one, really liked it if that wasn't obvious. Uh, pretty high up there. God, I just... So, I really want to fucking edit the series, but I hate having to get the fucking, like, footage for it. Which is... Like, don't get me wrong, I like recording. But I just hate having to get the footage. Like, I just want to fucking edit and be like, Yes! Yes! It's coming together perfectly! And then I gotta fucking record, and I was just like, Oh, but I just want to fucking edit! But granted, I think that might just be because of the fact that I'm trying to juggle a fucking job with this shit, so... Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Thank you all for watching! <laughs> I shall catch you in the next video, or I hope to catch you in the next video, whenever that shall be. See ya! I actually remember... Going, like, through some of the old uh, SCP file readings, um, and seeing what they looked like. And apparently I have one that was literally, uh, literally just, like, six different SCPs. I think they were, uh, 001 proposals, but I have no idea if I ever actually used that. Uh, no, I did not. So why the fuck do I have that, then? <laughs> like, I don't have an image saved of it? But I have the, like, Photoshop file of it? I don't... Yeah, it's the uh, Spiral Path, the Legacy, the Database, the Foundation, 36, and Cater Duty. I skipped our Boros for that? Why? That... I don't... Doesn't matter, it's fucking useless. I'm not using it, so it... it, it it's fine.